What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today, hopefully, I think we're finishing the Low Town arc, maybe getting into the Grand Line. I'm very excited. Now, before you guys say anything, I do want to let you guys know that I do know we have some fillers coming up. I am going to be skipping the fillers just because this is already enough content to go through as it is. But my amazing editor, Ree, has put together some of the canon moments or all the canonicity throughout the filler uh, filler arc. So I'm going to be going today. We're doing episode 53, the canon moments, 62, 63 and 64. So just remember that it's going to get a little complicated, especially when things start turning between canon and filler and then some have mixed canon and filler. So shout out to my editor. All I got to say, absolutely amazing work he's been doing. Very excited to hop into this. Logetown has been incredible. Mm, Grand Line is going to be amazing. You guys have been hyping it up immensely. I am very, very excited. I say we jump into it. Don't forget to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Subscribe. Click that notification bell so you always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon. Uncut early access up to eight episodes ahead. Let's hop into this. Uh, I forgot I can't read the title. But let's, let's, let's do this. All right. Exactly where we left off. The middle of this crazy ass storm. Shouts out to everyone that uh, called me out. I said this could have been the, the ghost that was during the Arlong Park, but that was just Usopp, me being dumb. That was Usopp. So we have not met this character yet. Not a single clue who this is. Very interesting looking tattoos, though. Who is this guy? I'm actually running out of... I'm actually running out of room on my first page, guys. Ooh. Okay, Kobaji. Jesus, man almost actually died. What is this like a my... This literally is like when they rescued Bakugo with the My Hero plan. Okay, slippy slide feet. Okay. I can't, I can't handle the show. I gotta turn it off. I'm not watching this anymore. Oh, wait, he turns into smoke? I thought he just controlled smoke, which he obviously does. But I didn't know it was to this degree. And if you're talking about being able to touch your smooth skin, smoke solidified can definitely do it. I need to get down all the names of the fruits because we have the, the gum gum, chop chop, plume plume. I need to get Alvitas. I didn't get it. Time for a rematch. Even though last time it was Luffy who whooped some ass. I'd be terrified of Richie. Ooh, and you know Richie's hungry too. The fresh egg might be perfect. Jump. Oh, yep. <laughs> yep. That's one way to get to a dogger. Oh, I mean, he could be technically be a feline, a lion, you know, his heart. Oh. That's actually kind of cool. He can make smoke wheels for his billower bike. Oh, it's Tashigi. She's going to call him out on being with... I mean, she should have known that episodes ago. She's a little bit of a ditz, but she is personally betrayed and offended. Yep. That is her whole goal, to remove great sores out of bad people's hands. Try it, literally. Don't get me wrong, Tashigi, I like you, but compared to Kuina and his resolve or her resolve with uh, Zoro, try it, please. They're really going at it. I get it. Oh, it's like one of those where we're leaving him behind. I mean. Ooh. He's not even using all three. And he's, you know. Don't get me wrong. Tashi, I like I love the hilt of her sword. It really looks like a Shinobu from Demon Slayer. But uh she's a great swordsman. The Zoro is just really built different. No matter what, we're carrying this sword until we're known as the best. She expects him to be. About, oh, 
Bringing in the, the sex card. I knew he would think of Kuina. <laughs> Facts. He's literally going down memory lane. I guess this is our final goal in Logetown. He's like, I forgot. Oh, I guess we can do that right now. Oh. No hesitation from my man Usopp. Going to help his boy with the assist from the back. Shouts out to my sniper. Ooh. I love when Sanji kicks like that. I really do. One of my favorite things. Talk about a scenario for a final fight in Logetown. A stormy ass rainstorm like this. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Here we go. Smoke fist. That is so handy. Like I thought that's why he had so many cigars. Because he could only control the smoke he produces. Like exhales. But no, he can my body become smoke at will. That's super strong. Devil fruit fight. Here we go. Doesn't even look like those are phasing him. I mean, he can technically absorb all the shock from it by turning his face into smoke. That is a very valid point. Oh, shit. Okay, timed it correctly to where he wasn't his body wasn't smoke. It was a solid hit. Never mind. Smoker is really damn strong. Your who? First off, his sword. Looks, I mean, it's not even a sword. It's more of like a baton. I don't think it has sharp edges, but it looks dope as hell. So do this guy's tattoos. And don't just say, don't just say your and then not tell me. What the? F oh, he's another pirate? Our answer, as in him and Smoker, or our as in him and his crew? It can even destroy the cannons. Look at how strong this wind is. What the? Was, was this tattoo guy that just did this? It has to be. Waiting for our answer, bada boom, it happened, and then it's gone. <laughs> I was about to say, Luffy can technically just catapult himself, right? Yep, exactly what I was thinking. I'm glad I'm starting to get into the creative mindset of Luffy. Having the ability to just be a... He's doing everyone. Well, that works. Shouts out to Luffy. I was going to say, having a rubber body, you just got to start thinking creatively, man. I'm not saying that to Luffy. I'm saying that to myself. Like, I'm so glad I'm starting to think like Luffy. This man, Luffy, is just genius. And we still never got to find out who the that guy was. Just like lightning 22 years ago on that day. Dragon. His name is Dragon. I mean, that's more the real question. Why are you guys getting in his way? He's just trying to do his thing. Oh, shit. We're having a grand line chase. And Tashigi is committed to. Smoker wants Luffy, Tashigi wants Zoro. Here we go. And there goes Alvita's ship. Everyone's meeting in the Grand Line. It's like bossing say in Avatar The Last Airbender. Everyone's converging there. In order to find the all blue, in order to be the king of the pirates, in order to become the master swordsman. They all have their own personal goals. I love it. He's like, yeah, yeah, I guess I'm down too. I love it. They're all united in one universal front, but with their own individual ambitions and goals. That could lead to a never-ending 
plethora of stories to be told. We're going to the Grand Line. Okie dokie, am I ready? You guys have no idea. All right, guys, so this, I believe, should be any canon moments from episode 54 to 61, and then 61 is like mixed canon and filler, so I'm assuming most of this is going to be from that. I, I'm sorry about the quality. It's obviously not 1080p or whatever, but, you know. That's a huge issue on the middle of the sea. The calm belt. Oh, yeah. The charm belt. If you guys have seen... Yeah. Yeah, the way she said that made it seem like there's something below us. Well, I mean, we saw something below us, but that's horrifyingly scary. If you've seen Black Sails, you know a calm ocean is a horrible thing at sea, though. You will starve to death. You will not move. There is no fresh water. Hard to catch fresh food. Really? It's right outside. I think in the show Black Sails, it was like... It was a couple of weeks like they were they, a lot of them died from starvation but it was a struggle so that's why i think this is horrifying <laughs> and now they're crying is he gonna sneeze Okay, that worked, but was also horrifying. What the hell? Uh oh, this ocean is gonna be crazy. We're just starting the Grand Line, and this is how crazy it is. We got sea kings and beasts and currents and. I see. You're dead. Okay. So we got some treacherous seas to navigate through right now. Dies. Wow. Yeah, you, look how strong this current is. Y'all better be ready. Holy shit, it really is. You guys ever played Minecraft when you can do that thing with the soul sand? It makes you go up with water. It's like that. See, like now with the designs and the architecture on those gates up that mountain. And I really started getting this like phase from Hunter Hunter. But I was like, oh man, I want a whole side series about the ancient fishmen or the ancient whatever who invented this who like imagine going back a thousand years in one piece and seeing who made the entrance to the grand line okay balloon way to embrace all that impact oh i know that shit is tight a ship weighs like 10 tons way to be clutch boom good good reach out Good broskies right there. Oh my god, look how tall this mountain goes. It's like a roller coaster on crack. I won't lie, I would want to see this too. I would be amazed. Yeah, you're a sailboat in the clouds going over a mountain on a current. I am very glad I watched this mixed canon and filler part. Thank you, Re, because this was much needed, might I say. I would not have known how dope this area is. 
it's so cold it immediately freezes over. Is that what that was? Was that ice? The greatest sea in the world. The Grand Line with the music. Very triumphant as well. We're getting there. Imagine the, the One Piece treasures like right as you go in there. Could save us a thousand episodes. Now, whoa. And then we go into the next episode. God damn. Alright guys, on to episode 62. I'm glad I watched that little uh, canon filler part. Super glad. But it's crazy to think because I had to click on another tab of Crunchyroll. I'm not in the East Blue Saga anymore, guys. I finished my first saga of One Piece. It's, it's weird to think about. It's crazy. I'm trying not to read the title, but it stays here for like 10 seconds, you know? So I'm just going to look away. <laughs> Who cares? Go. Yeah, with the way this thing sounds like it's trying to talk to Dory, it has to be a whale. Oh my god. The biggest whale I've ever seen in my life. I know whales in real life that have scars like that are usually from giant squid. I'm curious what did those scars to this thing. Could have been fucking Mihawk for all I know. This thing would eat your whole ship and not even notice it swallowed you. Luffy shoots it with a cannon. Luffy shot the biggest creature I've seen in One Piece with a cannon. Oh my god. Next thing you know, it's going to be friendly. Like, hey guys. Hope you find your dad, buddy. <laughs> As they paddle away. Luffy, my boy. Oh, he's sucking in an ocean full of water. Yeah. And that was the end of One Piece. We got eaten by a whale. Well, it was a fun show. I'm glad we were able to go on this journey with you guys. But all things, all great things must come to an end, you know. And now he rebuilds his crew. All of them are dead. Yep. And he's submerging. See, I, because it hasn't talked, I'm nervous that it's mad at Luffy. But something tells me it might be cool. Like, maybe it's going to bring you somewhere dope by taking, like... This was a thing... A window to come up? What is that? This was like a uh, God of War, though. The new one, 2018. Didn't we go in uh, Jormungandr? Or... Isn't that the name of the snake? We went in his mouth, and he was cool. Like, I fuck with Jormungandr. What? What is that? Master Roshi's Island? Kami's house? What the hell is going on? It is a giant squid. Oh. Wait, what the hell? The guy at this house must be a master fisherman. The way he just shot those harpoons. So my guess is someone, this whale, swallowed whoever lives on this island God knows how long ago and he made life inside this whale's body What the fuck? It's like I'm a, it, it, is, this, is this whale real? Who in the flying hell is this dude? Another named character Okay old man with a crazy looking beard. He looks like he should be in like tacking the power of Juju. 
as he takes a seat. Okay, he's lounging. I know, right? That was so intense. As he's as far back <laughs> as he can be. <laughs> I like this guy. Every single time it has to do a series of seven cuts to zoom into his eyes. True. I'm Roran Orzara. I can't I can never say his name. <laughs> I hate this dude. Crocus, was that his name? I hate this dude. And a Gemini. I'm a Scorpio. Wait, why are the... Yeah, I was cool with like an ocean of stomach acid in a private island with the size of the whale. You could literally have what? Okay, they're doing really. Every... <laughs> I know, right? But how is there a sky? Oh, what? So he painted the entirety to make his own. Wow. The sea is gastric acid. It most definitely is. Head? What? Laboon? I get that's his name. Why is he hitting his head against the red line? Is that what gave him all those scars? What is it suffering from? Bro, the size of this whale. Oh, boy, just jumped right in the acid. Oh, my God. A sea of bones. I still don't get how he has a mechanical inside. A river, a channel, you know? Like, what the hell? Listen, Miss Wednesday. We have Miss Wednesday and Mr. Nine trying to kill the old man and save the whale, but the whale wants to die. Interesting. Be ready for anything at any time as you guys are about to get ran over by a straw hat luffy luffy can't swim let alone in acid so he's able to subdue the pain for a little bit he like puts him under to calm him down. I th so, in terms of sweet honey for our town, I'm maybe his blubber, the ivory inside the whale. So they're trying to kill this man. Oh, this dude's a unit. And that's that. Luffy said these hands is E for everyone. These guys are being assholes. Called Whale Island. Called the Island Whale. Only lives in West Blue. Really? A certain pirate group? Who could have made such a relationship 50 years ago he's been waiting? That's older than gold, older than... So intriguing. Alright, on to episode 63. Let's do it.
Please. I need to know about these pirates. I'm also curious how he knows about Laboon's story. Did Laboon... Can they communicate? Was he just there? Ooh. Dope ass looking sails. Oh. Look how young he looks. I see. But he followed him. There's a huge social aspect to certain like marine life, like dolphins, whales, you know. That's sad. Two to three years. So odds are they're either out there stuck or they're like they're dead, you know? I'd assume they'd come back, you know? He's like, yeah. At this point, I would have just liked the Laboon to go with them. It's been 50 years. Reminds me of Shushu waiting for his already dead master. Like, oh my, it's so sad. Look at him now, you know? He's literally heartbroken. Okay, Mr. Doctor. You're a plug. Oh, I'd be down. Yeah, he is an old man. Probably need to find a youngin. He has to make an entire canal system inside of the whale in order to treat him. Like, 50 years is so much time to be able to do this. That's crazy. Look at the side hole that we have right here. Yeah, that's what I would assume as well. Oh, that's a valid point I didn't even think about. Uncharted. Reality is often cruel, so is the truth. Really? They didn't die? They just ran away? Are we taking Laboon on as the new member of the squad? Because we might need an island whale, you know? He refuses to believe it. Those are his homies. Yeah, he's heartbroken. Ah, stubborn as a goat, man. Yeah. Yeah, because he was supposed to watch over him for just a couple years. It's been 50. How are we going to go anywhere, my man, if we don't have a mast? I am confused as to what he's doing as well. Huh. He's giving his life new purpose instead of waiting for them endlessly. Yeah, he's giving his life new purpose. Okay, <laughs> it's like Asterius and Bill. Oh, never seen a whale cry. 
he has a new purpose in his i mean that's great i just am a little shocked that we had to damn near destroy our ship to do that hey you're dedicated man some great art we'll say the log pose Mr. 13, Miss Friday. So their co-workers started a few... Oh. Did they just get killed for failing their mission? Miss Wednesday and Mr. 9 just got killed by Mr. 13 and Miss Friday. I'm assuming Nami's compass is not going to work. And so something is wrong with the Grand Line. And so that's why we're going to use the log pose that those two weirdos just dropped. Oh yeah, we're we're blind. It's like me watching One Piece. I have no knowledge. Because the normal compass, all it does is point to like the magnetic north, right? The poles. <laughs> like what the? F you just have one? That's what I'm saying. By recording the magnetism to wind up one against each other, you can find the route to the next island. Really? Damn. At first, you can pick out one of the seven magnetisms produced by the Reverse Mountain, which is where we're at now. It will lead us to a chain of islands in which we can then just follow the magnetic chain down that line of islands. But look at how many charts that leads to, you know? Raftal. The last point, Raftal. And the only one in history who's confirmed that island is the King of the Pirates. Gold. That's what I would assume. That's the most predominant theory. Yeah, Nami's gonna kill the entire crew. How are we gonna get another one of these? Aren't they super rare? And there goes them. Uh, you're the goat. Yeah. So they didn't die. That explosion just kind of messed them up a little bit. Is that the name of their town? Yeah, we gotta go see Boss and Mr. Friday or Miss Friday and Mr. 13, all that shit. Uh-huh. That's such an interesting offer, right? You guys tried to kill this whale, that's our buddy. And you can't tell us anything about you, but you want us to take you back home? You're the one who knocked him out. Luffy's just interested in more places. He's like me, though. He just loves the world building. So we're following this line. I'm Luffy. I'm going to be king of the pirates. Shouts out to Laboon. Shouts out to Crocus. They're the goats of the reverse mountain lighthouse stop on the whiskey peak we go take mr nine miss wednesday home it was great meeting you laboon we will see you on our next voyage and may our rivalry grow forever wow nami's looking real good Woo! very candid as zeph would say you know Just speaks what he speaks how he he knew roger I mean, he did say the gold was the only one to confirm that. Oh, why do they always got to do shit like that? Come on, Crocus. All right, on to the last episode of the session on episode 64. Let's do it. Starting to get cold. We got, we got snow on the going, Mary. Oh, 
Oh, wow. That is Kaya. <laughs> That's funny. I've actually, because they never did this in Black Sails, because they're in the Caribbean, so it never was really cold. I'm curious what it would have been like on a ship, you know, when it's constantly snowing. Having to deal with, like, frozen lakes or sea. I don't know, you know? Frozen, I don't know. Lightning and snow. Uh. This is the grand line for you. We were going the wrong direction. <laughs> you can't trust anything. Only the log pose. <laughs> Man is hibernating. Jesus. This is really going to show how much of a navigator Nami really is. Being able to handle like quick thinking reaction time decisions like this. Like let go of that rudder. Put up this sail. Follow the wind in a certain direction. You know like actually navigating a ship of this size and caliber is a lot of work. I guess it reminds me of Vinland Saga when Thorfinn was like, my dad's a warrior. You're not Leif Erikson. He's like, what do you mean? I'm a warrior. We battle the seas. And he's back. He's not lying. <laughs> Zoro wakes up from his nap. Everyone is mentally and physically exhausted from the never ending weather fight we just had. Oh, I would fight. I would fight him. I would fight. I would be like them. I would fight him on the spot. What would that be? I mean, we know it's a pattern. Like, we know Mr. 13 missed Friday. Oh. Give it, like, a little bit of time. Give it, like, 30, 40 episodes. She'll, she'll be the navigator of the Grand Line. She'll be up there. We're already about to pull up. Whiskey Peak. Oh, my. What the hell? Is that Whiskey Peak? It looks like Cactus Island. Uh-huh. It really is a funny looking island. Oh, so those are cacti. What the hell? Bye bye, baby. Bye, bye, baby. That's how I'm gonna start uh saying uh goodbye at the end of my One Piece videos, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye, baby! To, like charter the the line for the next one right yeah well that's a good reason canonically for us to stay at every island do a little side hop and you know i'm down it could be hours it could be days my chronic illness do not go on that island disease i i, 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 I swear i've heard of that why is this place so like secretive? They're hiding in the fogs, looking at us with binoculars. Oh, I just realized they're cheering for us. I just thought that was something else that they just cut to. Okay, we have a town that's cool with pirates. I was wondering why they were being so secretive in the foggy, that they were just looking at who's coming. Even the name of Fusha, Vill Fusha Village, right? That's where Luffy is from. Everyone was like, hey, Luffy's may maybe he'll be a great pirate after all. And the mayor was like, why do we want a criminal coming from our town? You know, so this is an interesting town outlook. Oh, you got a boy. You got a boy. Liquor and music sounds like my type of spot. He has to re-pitch himself every once in a while. <laughs> I mean, okay, I get it. You want us to rest. That's cool, but you could say 24 hours. You could say a day. Like, it's not, or two days, whatever. It's not that hard. Just tell me the time. Oh, there's Miss Friday and Mr. 13. Okay, so the people here love to have a good time. Shut up, Usopp. Shut up. 
Captain Usopp, you're so amazing. Oh, oh, Kanpai. Nami's like, okay, show me where the cups are. Yep. <laughs> yep. When it comes to money, Nami is unparalleled. See, anytime we have a fun celebration like this at a, at a place, there's always... I was not expecting that timing, but there's always some sneaky hidden shit going on. And what do you know? I don't, I don't know if I like that. No wonder this isn't Whiskey Peak. This is Cactus Island. I see. Annoying. And on that mailbox is a picture or a diagram. Look, yep, Mr. 13 and Miss Friday. Baroque. Isn't the fucking title one of the only reason I say that? I just gotta grab it real quick. Give me one sec, guys. I was confused why, because I knew Alabasta was coming up. I was confused why I didn't say Alabasta. But on my one, on my One Piece box set, which is super dope, by the way. It says East Blue, which we've gone through, and Baroque. And I was always like, what the fuck is Baroque? Huh, I'm curious now. I don't know why I'm pausing to show you guys this, but tell me that doesn't look so sick. All those fucking volumes. Oh my God, I love the color design. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this. You guys don't care. God damn, Mike. So I, see, I see the term Baroque. I'm like, I'm like, let's go. So this is paradise, but this also was a false false everything like this is this is not even the island you guys think you're on but does that mean just the mayor Ag so is this a town that welcomes pirates to just steal everything from them or what is this what is this all about adventurers come on so they were actually drinking so she's not a nun she is brawlic is this jojo's miss monday so we have miss monday miss wednesday and we know there's miss friday we have mr nine mr 13 and this is mr eight gotta set examples so okay that's gonna be the hard part Aurora Noah Zoro. True. A nest of bounty hunters. Dupe pirates. I see. A hundred. Okay. Is that the name of this bounty hunting like guild? Our company name, Baroque Works? Okay. I see. And as I, oh, bosses, I, oh, I need to know. I need to know. Then you must die. And this is how we're going to end this episode, aren't we? Zoro is looking like a badass right now are those all gravestones on the cactuses are you serious they have killed a number he's gone with him like his shadow silhouette being right in front of the moonlight too that's super fucking dope so badass Oh my god. I mean, there's a reason. It's this dude right here. He's the go. Oh, new ending? Okay, I love this. Going Mary, picking tangerines. Got the squad. Super good vibes in that ending. I, I fucked with that. All right. Talk about some episodes. We finished the Low Town arc, like I assumed. Um, sm talk about a finish. I need to start actually like organizing my notes because right now it's just a plethora of random information and, and names. 
Um, but we had Dragon. Dragon is the one who saved Luffy. And Smoker said he's wanted by the government, but they also seemed like they knew him. Obviously, they knew him, but they were like cool with him. Like they were like, why'd you help him, Dragon? And he's like, why would you interrupt in the man's voyage? What are you guys doing? But it's like, I'm curious, like he has to have, he's either higher up than Smoker, otherwise Smoker would have gone off on him or, but he's wanted by the government. Like, I need to know details, but obviously do not tell me the details, but I want to know, super bad. And then we finally enter the grand line. Shout out to my editor, Ree, for letting me get that montage of the canon information during those fillers much needed crazy that all the currents converge on the reverse mountain the red line go up it's a little like a roller like, like it's crazy and then on the other side in the grand line we got my boy crocus with laboon i feel so bad for laboon I, I always feel bad for animals like that they're so loyal and wholesome and innocent and i love how luffy was able to reignite his spark give his life new meaning saying hey if you're gonna wait here endlessly for them you know i can guarantee you i'll come back it's a draw let's fight we'll fight forever and ever we'll be never-ending rivals and that way you always have something to look forward to and crocus also appreciated that and gave him their log but I, li I like the whole aspect of the grand line how different it is from normal ocean exploration because ocean's already hard enough to navigate as it is but then with these crazy ass weather storms with the non mag normal magnetism having to uh store and log every island's current like it's crazy i love the detail i really do enjoy it and now we're getting on to the cactus island with the baroque works i am excited i know you guys showed you during the reaction i don't know if it made it into the video i don't know if it made it into the edit but if it did not i have had this and i was like what the hell does baroque works mean i know we're in east blue i was so curious i'm definitely gonna get the other box sets as well I'm just waiting until I'm like caught up to a certain point because, you know, I don't want to spoil myself. That's why I really haven't even been looking at like this heavy as shit at like these pictures, the pictures of the characters below, just because I don't want to spoil myself on anything. I'm actually hitting the mic right now with this. So I'm sorry, guys, but I just want to let you guys know. Super cool. I'm investing heavily into this One Piece world. I am invested. I am ready for everything and anything in between. Like, oh, this is so cool to me love it immensely very excited to continue with the show loving where we're going Zor, oh i'm excited hopefully you guys enjoyed as well if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell all that jazz don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out